Hello everyone, welcome back, and in today's lecture we are going to talk about jump points. I already recorded a video, but the audio was messed up, but yeah, I'll just record it again. <laughs> so, jump points are points that you jump makes you jump from a point A to point B, so from a start point to an end point. You can use this when you have like two surfaces and there's no walkable area in between. You just want the player to jump from this. Y you know what jump points are. <laughs> so, let's head to Unity and just show you a quick example. So in here I have um, an empty area in between and I have two surfaces. I want to jump from here to here, so just like do this, that's all. So let's exit the player mode, the play mode and get rid of the jump that we have and start to use. Now the first thing you need to do is you need to have an object that holds the start and end point. So right click in the hierarchy, create an empty. You can call this jump if you want, you can call it whatever you want, I'm going to call it jump. And I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to reset the position in the in the inspector. Now I always do that because it just makes it easier for me to set up uh, point A and point B. Now what you can do is you can move this to the edge here or you can put it in the middle. It really depends on whatever you want. <laughs> but okay, so right now we need two points. We need. Let me expand this a bit. Okay, so we need two points. We need point A, a start point, and point B. Now right click on jump, create an empty and call this start point. You can call it whatever you want, start point is just easier. And I'm going to move the start points and I'm going to put it here on the edge. Okay, And I'm going to select the jump again and create empty. I'm going to call this end point. Again, move the end point to the other edge. This is why I put it in the middle so I can just move them easier. It doesn't matter where the jump is, it matters where the start and the end position is, uh, the end point is. So now uh, I'm going to select the end point. I'm going to hit this little cube thing and I'm going to choose the bread color and I'm going to select the start point again and set the yellow co color just to make things easier. And if I select the top orientation, you can see here that it's easier to look at. Now, in the jump, I'm going to select the jump uh, object and other components and search for off mesh. We need the off mesh link. And we also need the off mesh link handler. Now, we have two points to fill in here, the start and the end point. Now there are two ways to do it. You can select this little circle right here. And you can select scene. And in here, you can see the colors that we just chose, which is the start and the end. But you can also drag the end point and put it in the transform here. Now in the off mesh link handler, make sure that this is set to jump. And the speed multiplier, you can change it. It depends on the you know, it depends on the distance between both points, so you can do something like 1.3. And the height multiplayer, you can do something like 1.1. This is just up to you, you can do it whatever you want, so 1.5 is really up to you. And now, you can customize this however you want. So for example, the start point, I can move it a little bit backward. And the end point, I can move it in front. So now the player will start the jump from here to reach the end point. If I change the view, you can see this, oops, sorry can see here that this is how the jump will work. Now if I expand this and I start the game, if I hit here, the player should jump from this point to this point. You can see the speed is pretty good. You can change it however you want. You can change the height as well. That's pretty much all. Now if I exit the play mode, just make sure that the end point and the start point is on a baked nav mesh, it, an area where the player can reach, because if I move the start point, for example, here, it wouldn't work because there's no nav mesh that the player can walk on, so it won't work. It must have it must be on a valid nav mesh. And that's all for this lecture. In the next lecture, we're going to talk about anchors and how to make the player sit. So stay tuned for lecture seven anchor points.